with the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources are hosting a meeting to discuss the decline in the blue crab population. News 2's Walker Simmons joins us from SCDNR's Marine Resources Center this morning where tonight's meeting will be held. Walker, a report shows what happened to the blue crab population over the last two decades. Octavia, good morning, and that's right, that SCDNR report shows concerning trends that the blue crab population is in decline, and that was found through surveys and reports, and now SCDNR is having discussions to talk about ways to prevent any decrease in that population in the future. Now, this information came through surveys and reports from commercial fisheries, and DNR says there's concerning signals in the data. Officials say tonight's meeting is vital because blue crabs are one of the top three fisheries in the state worth millions of dollars, and the department will be sharing the most recent recent findings and planned ways to relieve the shortage of crabs and DNR officials explain possible limitations that could be set as well to protect crabs in the low country. One of the major goals is to, um, to limit effort in the blue crab fishery, some potential catch limits in the recreational sector, some changes to the gear, which would include uh, including escape rings so that undersized crabs can get out of the pots. Now, the first of these three meetings will be happening tonight at 630 at the Marine Resource Research Institute Institute, excuse me, here on James Island. Live in Charleston, Walker Simmons, count on two.